Hello everyone and welcome back to eCabinets Tips and Tricks. My name is Scott Marshburn and today I would like to try to help out a fellow eCabinets uh, member. Uh, Tim posted a question on the uh, eCabinets forum about making all his doors equal size on a frameless cabinet. I'm assuming it's a frameless cabinet because he was saying that he tried adjusting the gaps between doors and the reveals and in e cabinets when you're dealing with the face a frameless cabinet it deals with uh, reveals and gaps between doors and this is a cabinet that I uh, loaded from e cabinets frameless library um, let's see which one it is here e cabinets frameless library um, one um, that is a library that you can download off of eCabinets website and what I done was I took a cabinet a standard uh, uh, upper cabinet here and I added two partitions and then I equalized those openings and put my doors on here with the um, construction settings that they already had set up for the doors and the result was this door here is 16 inches and this door here is 16 inches but this door right here is 15 and 5 eighths now I'm assuming that uh, we want to maintain the reveals on the left and the right and we want to maintain the gaps between these doors here but we want them equalized so the only alternative we have is to adjust these partitions okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove these doors uh, because simply when we go to adjusting the partitions it's going to delete them anyhow so I'm going to click on these doors by holding down my control key and selecting each one and delete them and I'm going to go into the partition editor now we can see that our openings are equal um, 28 and 9 sixteenths, 28 and 9 sixteenths, and 28 and 9 sixteenths. Now we're dealing with um, point or 23 30 second material. Uh, that's what e cabinets is figuring it up on because I'm in inches and fractions. I'm going to switch to inches and decimals and this will tell us exactly what material they're using the thickness of the material they're using if I hover over this it is 0.725 okay <clears throat> so what I want to do let me just come into here and back into here real quick so it will when it regenerates it will have our fractions and decimals showing for our openings here and as you can see this one right here is slightly different and that is because of the way that the cabinets rounds the decimals um, when it's equalizing the openings um, that point one point right there or whatever is not going to be a big deal but we do want these doors equal widths so we need to adjust this opening and this opening in order to do that and what I've done was in, in uh, Excel I came up with a calculator that will calculate that opening for us right here and there's some things that we need to do to come up with that um, we need to take the dimensions or what have you that we know um, we know our cabinet is 48 inches cabinet width we know our end thicknesses is 0.725 and our partition thicknesses are 0.725 and our reveals um, this is the reveal that is set up in the library and and under door uh, preferences and our gap between doors is this figure here 0.1181 we know the number of openings is three and the total number of partitions is two 
So we're going to take that information and we're going to come up with some figures here that we're going to use to calculate this left and right partition opening. Um, we need to know the inside cabinet width. Okay, and what that is, is this is the cabinet width B19 minus the in thicknesses, combined in thicknesses, 0.725 minus 0.725, okay, which comes up with this figure right here. Now we need to know the calculated overlay on the ends, and that is the material that the door is taken up on the ends here based on the end thicknesses and the way I came up with that is that I took the end thicknesses and I subtracted the left and right end reveal which comes up with the overlay there and we need to know the calculated overlay for the partitions which is based on the partition thickness um, so what I done was I took V21 divided by 2 which is the partition thicknesses which is half of the partition okay and I subtracted the gap between doors half of that so B21 divided by 2 minus B23 divided by 2 which comes up with 0.3035 now I was able to use that information to come up with the door sizes to make them all equal. So each door needs to be 15.8819. And that formula is the cabinet width okay, minus the left and right end reveal times 2, if we had two ends, minus the gap between doors times the number of partitions in this case is two you had four and multiply it by four or three if you had three partitions it would multiply it by three okay and i have these in parentheses here so it's doing all this math first and then it's dividing that answer by b24 which is the number of openings which comes up with 15.8819 now I said that it needed this information to calculate this that's not necessarily so but we do need this information here to come up with this figure as well as this okay so what we got this is what we're ultimately after here is we take B30 here which is our door size okay and we subtract the calculated overlay for the ends so the door size minus this and minus this which comes up with our left and right partition opening width So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click copy. Um, now if you have any questions about this, you feel free to you know, post them on my channel um, and I'll help you out in any way I can. But um, I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go back into eCabinets. I'm going to click on this opening here and I'm going to highlight everything including the inch symbol right click and click paste and hit enter now let's put that figure in there and i'm going to click on this opening and i'm going to do the same thing right click and paste and enter so now we have our openings adjusted here and you can see the difference i'm going to go back into door editor and I'm going to click on this opening and I'm going to add a left hinge door um, and you can see the settings that they have already set up um, got door to door gap right here and we've got um, our left reveal 
right reveal and so on and I'll click OK and I'm just going to click on that opening right here and add a, another left hinge door and click OK and finally this one right here and I'm going to add a right hinge door Now, if we hover over this door here, we can see that we have 15.882 for the width. And this one right here is the same thing, 15.882. And if we hover over this one, we'll see that it is 15.8819, which, I mean, you can't measure that with a ruler, so that is basically the same width as the other two. Now <clears throat> what we can do is we can go back to inches and fractions and click OK and go back into main and we'll see that when we hover over the doors they're all the same width. So that one is 15 and 7 eighths, this one is 15 and 7 eighths, and this one is 15 and 7 eighths. So I hope that helps. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please post them on my channel. And as always, subscribe to get all the latest tips and tricks as I come out with them. Thank you for watching and have a good day.